Hello everyone, welcome back. This week I'd like to discuss trajectory, bullet trajectory, and some common misconceptions associated with trajectory. Now trajectory of a bullet is the curve of that bullet from your barrel as gravity pulls it back to earth. Looks like this. Now a common misconception associated with trajectory that I hear all the time, that you hear, everyone hears, even uses, is that a rifle or a cartridge is flat shooting. Now this 270 is a phenomenally flat shooting deer rifle, or 243, 223, very flat shooting. Now flat shooting to me means that bullet is traveling very far, maybe very fast. Great ballistic coefficient, its ability to overcome air resistance and flight, a lot of powder behind it is throwing that bullet very far. Now, to an experienced shooter, there is no such thing as flat shooting. And why do I say that? Well, if you were to fire your, your bullet, your cartridge, from your rifle on a completely horizontal level plane, your bullet would immediately start dropping as it leaves your gun, your barrel. Just like I had showed you earlier. Leaves, starts dropping off immediately. At no time is that bullet defying gravity. And a lot of people think that the heavier the bullet, the more powder behind it, it somehow defies gravity and travels straight or, or, or rises by itself to continue on further before it starts dropping. That doesn't happen. It's impossible. Now people believe that because they mount modern optics on their, their firearms, their hunting firearms. So they'll sight in their rifle for 50 yards, 100 yards. And at 100 yards, that bullet is arcing up to hit your bullseye at 100 yards. Then, it continues to arc back down towards Earth. So people believe, you know, maybe the bullet path crosses at 100 yards and 300 yards, or 50 yards and 350 yards, that that bullet is just traveling completely parallel, completely level across its flight path. That very flat shooting. That's not how it really works. When you sight in your firearm for hunting season, you're using an optic, even iron sights, so that you are sighting in your firearm at 100 yards. Let's say this right here is 100 yards. You have a scope on your rifle, nice 3 by 9 loophole. Your sight plane level with this target. You're sighting it in at 100 yards. So this is your scope. You're looking through your scope at your bullseye. You're seeing perfectly horizontal line of sight to your bullseye. So your line of sight is completely level. Completely horizontal. So when you're sighting in your rifle, you're making adjustments to bring it up, down, left, or right, so that where your crosshair is on your bullseye, your bullet will hit there. Now remember, your optic or your sights sit higher than your barrel. So in order for your bullet to hit a bullseye at 100 yards, you have to elevate your barrel at an angle so that it throws the bullet up to meet your bullseye at 100 yards. Now, after that, your bullet travels on even though your line of sight is horizontal. So your bullet arcs up, gravity takes hold, pulls it back down to earth. So, the misconception is that because this bullet is dead on at 100 yards and dead on at 175 yards, when you shoot it at those ranges, you think, oh, this bullet is, is a laser. It's flat shooting. 
It's flying straight across. It doesn't drop at all. Deadly. In reality, that's not happening. If you were to take a bullet fired from your cartridge of your hunting rifle, your target shooting rifle, and you were to hold it off to the side at the end of your barrel, so that is just in front of your barrel off to the side, and you were to somehow be able to time it perfectly that when you pull the trigger of your rifle, that bullet exited your barrel, as soon as the bullet in your hand and the bullet from that rifle were parallel with each other, you were to drop the bullet that was in your hand. Now the instant that the bullet you drop hits the ground, that bullet you fired from your firearm hits the ground too. Huge shocker, I know. The, the effect gravity has on these bullets is the same. It doesn't matter how much powder is behind them. The only difference between those bullets is the point of impact. The bullet you drop hits the ground at your feet. The bullet you fire hits the ground downrange from wherever you're shooting. Now, what does that mean to you and I, you know, normal hunters, not long-range competitive shooters? That means that we need to take the time to understand the trajectory of the deer cartridge we have chosen. A lot of people around here in western New York, they love the 3030. They love the 308. Now, the 3030, dense bullet, poor ballistic coefficient, not much powder behind it. You know, it exits your gun, starts dropping very fast. What you need to understand is that if you are going to use this cartridge, you owe it to yourself and to that animal you plan on harvesting to understand how your gun and your cartridge perform. Now you can't sight in your rifle with a 30-30 at 100 yards and be taking 300 yard shots with that without understanding the drop compensation that would be involved. The amount of your bullet is dropping between 100 yards and 300 yards. Now a 308 is another very popular caliber around here. More powder, good ballistic coefficient, it overcomes air resistance and flight a lot better. High velocity, travels out, then drops off. Now comparing these two together, one would say, oh, the 308 is a much more flat shooting cartridge, which, because it travels further, the trajectory is less dramatic. It is, in our terms. That doesn't mean that that bullet is flying flat on its way to the top. You may love your 3030. You may love your 308, your 270, and that's fine. Those are perfectly capable deer cartridges. I'm not saying that you can't use those guns because they're not flat shooting. I'm saying that you should take the time to look up online the ballistics chart for your caliber, your round, the brand you plan on using of ammunition, and learn its trajectory. I mean, gundata.org. You can type in what caliber you plan on using or what caliber you own. And the, and the type of ammunition, the grain of the bullet, and they will show you on a chart your bullet drop as it leaves your muzzle to where it hits the ground downrange. In, in yardage increments, it'll show you how many inches it has dropped over X amount of yards. time to learn the ballistics of the cartridge you plan on using for hunting. You will feel much more confident in your equipment when you understand how much and how fast that bullet will drop after it leaves your muzzle, regardless of where you decided to sight it in at. Learn how much retained energy it has. It'll show you online on these ballistics charts that you can easily access. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to the deer you plan on harvesting or the animal you plan on harvesting. There's no such thing as a flat shooting rifle. You take a few minutes to learn how your bow is going to perform, it will increase your success in the field. Thank you for tuning in.